Officially classified as an industrial off-road utility vehicle, Canadian-based fat truck is making waves in the go-anywhere vehicle class. While many of us have already heard of Sherp, the Ukraine-based super all-terrain vehicle manufacturer made famous by Kanye West and other celebrities. Fat Truck is still a relatively unknown commodity. Headquartered in Bromont, Quebec, Canada, Fat Trucks are developed and manufactured by Zeal Motor Incorporated. Founded in 2018 by Maxim O'Shaughnessy, Benoit Marlowe, and Amine Kimji, Zeal Motor set out to solve the problem of how to move people and materials to hard-to-reach work sites. The solution? build a vehicle capable of tackling the hardest terrain Mother Earth can throw at it. The fat truck is essentially a four-wheeled, all-terrain off-road vehicle that will not only haul materials and eight passengers to remote work sites, but it can also float on water," said Amine Kimji, one of Zeal Motors' three founders. Up until today, there was no easy solution for transporting people on job sites. People use pickup trucks, side-by-sides, and even school buses, but when it gets messy, there's no way to transport people. It's impossible. Where the pickup stops, the fat truck will continue. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at one of the most rugged ATV manufacturers in the world, what fat trucks can do, how much they cost, and what they were built for. Prior to founding Zeal Motor in 2018, each co-founder had a rich history in various areas of all-terrain vehicles. President of Zeal Motor, Maxim O'Shaughnessy had previously spent eight years as head of products and product development at Quebec-based snow groomer and track vehicle manufacturer Prenon. VP Engineering Benoit Marlowe and VP Sales and Marketing Emine Kimji each also spent many years at Prenon in various roles from technical expert to regional sales manager. Shortly after founding Zeal in 2018, the team was bolstered by financial assistance from both the Federal Government of Canada and the Quebec Government. Zeal received $573,300 in financial assistance in early 2019 to assist in its growth, product development, and to launch business development in both Canada and the United States. Zeal received another significant tranche of repayable financial assistance from the Canadian government in mid-2021 to the tune of an additional $892,500 funds which were earmarked for the rehiring of six employees and creating new positions at the company. The company has not only made it clear that the vehicle is built for rough terrains, but it is quite evident that these fat truck vehicles have more specifications and abilities compared to other vehicles built for rough terrain. ISO certified with a rollover protective structure and seat belts for all passengers, the fat truck is essentially road legal, which is something the Sherp isn't. Geared towards energy providers and mining companies requiring remote access to pipelines, telecommunication towers and power lines, or first responders in disaster areas, Fat Truck is capable of confronting any type of terrain in any season, according to Zeal. Fat Truck currently has two main product configurations, the 2.8C model capable of carrying up to eight passengers and the 2.8P and 2.8B, which has a pickup truck-like bed, the 2.8B coming with a tilting cargo bed. With first units being produced in early 2019, let's take a brief look at each of these amazing vehicles. Termed by some as the all-terrain vehicle that you probably don't need, but will definitely want. The 2.8C is the flagship ATV of Fat Truck. With a tilt ability of 40 degrees side hill and the ability to climb hills that tilt as high as 70 degrees, this unit can carry weights of up to 1,000 kilograms. It has mag seating for eight, two in the front and six in the back, and a fuel capacity of 70 liters, which can run for 10 hours non-stop. Standard features include the red color, lockable doors, sliding side windows, a heater in case you find yourself in a cold region, and detachable ladders that come with grabbers. The 2.8C has a maximum land speed of 40 km per hour and a water speed of 5 km per hour. Equipped with an electric horn, air conditioning, brush guards, exterior mirrors, backup cameras, and a hatch to climb out of in case something happens, the 2.8C comes with many creature comforts not found in a Sherp. In terms of control and engine capacity, the Fat Truck 2.8C runs on a microprocessor and is steered by a joystick, accompanied by a hydrostatic transmission. The brakes come in two different forms, one allowing positive deceleration through hydrostatic transmission, and the other, park brakes, which have to do with the application of pressure. In terms of cost, the Fat Truck 2.8C can be purchased for $120,000 US dollars and that comes with a one-year warranty. The second product offering for Fat Truck is its 2.8P, which is essentially a pickup version of the Fat Truck 2.8C, designed to transport materials and tools to job sites. 
It allows payloads to be transported to job sites through harsh conditions with the occupants completely separate from the cargo. With a payload capacity of 1,000 kilograms, fuel capacity of 80 liters, and an average fuel economy of 12 hours, the 2.8P has slightly more advantages than the fat truck 2.8C. Unlike the 2.8C, however, the 2.8P is quite a versatile unit. Coming with options such as a vegetation spraying unit, water tank, firefighting foam kit, and even a small service crane. With a passenger capacity of 8 people, the 2.8P can reach speeds of up to 40 km per hour on land and up to 5 km per hour on water. The vehicle also comes with automatic safety brakes, two front seats accompanied by three-point seat belts, an electric horn, external ladders with grab handles, a first aid kit, and a fire extinguisher. In terms of maneuverability, it has the same specifications as the Fat Truck 2.8C. With an engine capacity of 64 horsepower, four cylinders, and a liquid-cooled cooling system, you can get the 2.8P for as low as $120,000. What do you think of Fat Truck? Do you see potential uses for these Canada-made extreme ATVs? Let us know in the comments. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content about trailblazing technology and companies. We will see you guys in the next one.